Alright, so now we are onwards to the last part of uh, this uh, presentation, uh, and uh, gladly so, because I think Theo is kind of bored right now. <laughs> He's got other things on his mind, uh, presumably ladies. No, I'm not. <laughs> hey, Farhan. Um, so Farhan just came in. Uh, so this last part is going to uh, talk about uh, exporting. Uh, things so uh, you know a lot of times you're going to need to export to uh, uh, to, uh, to to place these things inside of say a PowerPoint presentation or inside a Word document or on a web page or send them uh, through email and the person doesn't have Illustrator so it's important to know how to export things properly uh, so you want to go to file first of all and uh, use uh, document setup. Uh, so that allows you to set uh, the size of your document, right? So if you want to like, draw a figure, basically, and uh, you want to set it to a size of a uh, U.S. letter, uh, then you would select these settings, for example. So actually, that's probably the first thing that you want to do when you create a new document. Um, for example, a poster, you might have restrictions on the poster size, depending on the conference that you're going to. So it is already uh, eight and a half by eleven, which is the correct size. So I've just created uh, a fake figure uh, now. Um, so figure one, awesome plot, and figure two, awesomer plot. Uh, and I want to export that. So uh, you want to set the dimensions. So I've set the dimensions, right? Um, but. I need to set actually the crop marks, uh, the, like the, the, the crop region, to actually export this thing properly to another format. So let me, uh, let me illustrate what I'm trying to tell you. Um, so let's say I save a copy. Well, actually, I, I, no, save a copy. Yeah. As a PDF file. Uh, I'm type, okay. Right, and I'm going to select. I'm going to talk about these settings right now, just a little later on. Okay, well, it's, it, it's exported it fine now, but so I, I look kind of foolish. But uh, sometimes, depending on exactly what you do, uh, it won't export it the correct size. Um, like, it'll crop it around the area where there's actually stuff, or sometimes it'll include things which are off screen. So that's why you have the uh, crop mark uh, or crop area tool, which is this guy. Um, so this allows you to set an area uh, which you're going to export. So if you double click on it, it'll select okay, it'll select the area uh, which is uh, the canvas, right? Uh, the area of the size of the canvas, basically. Um, you can also uh, remove these crop marks by pressing delete when, once you're in the tool, or you can drag it around a certain portion of your um, figure. Uh, to, to set uh, this thing as a thing to export. So, for example, now if I save a copy as PDF, uh, I'm just going to close this. Uh, right. Yep. There you go. So that's what the what sets basically the the crop areas. Um, so. To, uh, so there's a couple of formats which are going to be really useful for exporting. Uh, one of them is PDF. Uh, oftentimes, if you need to send uh, figures to a paper, they'll accept PDF, um, and it's a vector format, PDF. Uh, so that's a good one to know. And to do that, you need to file, uh, save a copy, um, and then you have the PDF. So don't try to print as PDF. Okay, and just use save as, save a copy, for example. So once again, like so. Now the thing that you need to know is that PDF is actually a really complex format. Uh, so that actually, um, Adobe Illustrator can uh, save uh, natively as, uh, actually work natively in PDF but it creates like all this extra like meta information which is still in the file and it makes the files humongous 
right? So to actually use to so actually create an uneditable PDF file, which you can like post on the web so that someone can print it, and that for someone not to edit it, you need to set the things, for example, to uh, smallest file size, right? And you'll see the options that it'll create now are optimized for web view and view, well, uh, and it won't preserve Illustrator editing cap capabilities. Right? Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, another thing that you want to be uh, careful about is that some non Adobe uh, PDF readers yeah, sure. are incompatible with uh, Illustrator made PDFs. Um, if they're if you know they're, they preserve Illustrator editing capabilities, uh, and the other thing that you want to uh, check off actually um, is create ad ac Acrobat layers from top level layers. So you want to uncheck that uh, because what happens is, is for example if you use the Mac, uh, you know when you're on a Mac uh, you usually um, read PDFs with the preview application, right? Which is like the built-in PDF viewer and what it'll do is, uh, so, so for example, if you have a layer that's invisible, it'll magically reappear uh, so that you'll get like crazy, like it won't be readable. So uh, that's actually happened to me a couple of times where <laughs> you send that to a, uh, uh, to a collaborator, you know, your nice figure that you've made with like different versions of it uh, in it so that you have uh, layers uh, deselected. And then when they try to view it, they're like, the hell did you do, you know? <laughs> Uh, so once again, don't preserve Illustrator uh, viewing capabilities. Optimize for wi for fast web view and don't create uh, Acrobat layers from top level layers. And then you can save. Uh, and uh, I, I've actually selected Preview now, and that's what it will give.